Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that Calculate the number of tablets, capsules or millimeters needed to administer this given dosage where the doctor's order says augmentin 200 milligrams. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. In this question, we have to calculate the number of tablets, capsules or milliliters needed to administer this given dosage. Here, first of all, let us see this medication label. From this label, we see that medication is administered in milliliters. So our answer unit will be in milliliters. Now the doctor's order says augmentin 200 milligrams. So we have to find that how many milliliters will it take to make 200 milligrams. So let x milliliters is equal to 200 milligrams. Now we have to convert milligrams to milliliters. For this we have to find conversion factor For this we see the concentration given on the medication label which is 125 milligrams per 5 milliliters This means Five milliliters is equal to 125 milligrams. Now from this equation we get two fractions that is two unit ratios that is 5 milliliters upon 125 milligrams and 125 milligrams upon 5 milliliters. Now here we have to convert milligrams to milliliters. So we choose the first fraction as conversion factor because to convert 200 milligrams into milliliters we have to cancel milligrams. So it should be in the denominator of the fraction and in this fraction you can see that milligrams is in denominator. So conversion factor is 5 milliliters upon 125 milligrams. Now here we have the answer unit, the starting factor that is 200 milligrams and we have conversion factor. So we set up an equation as starting factor into conversion factor is equal to answer unit. This implies 200 milligrams into conversion factor that is 5 milliliters upon 125 milligrams is equal to answer unit that is milliliters. Now milligrams is cancelled with milligrams. 5 into 25 is 125 and 25 into 8 is 200. And this implies 8 into 1 milliliter is equal to 8 milliliters. So, you should administer 8 milliliters to the patient. So, this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.